Hey everyone, this is my uh, assignment one video for uh, CSC 380. Um, so I'll just run through uh, real quick um, all of these bullet points over here. So let's see if I can do this. All right. So to begin, um, I have a representation of the uh, the puzzle, the board. Uh, I just use the standard array. Uh, this is all C sharp. Um, and the board contains the uh, board itself, the position of the zero or the blank element, and then a whole bunch of utility functions to move that zero around, um, as well as test if you can move. Um, there's also the misplaced tiles count and Manhattan distance, which is calculated um, when a board is created. And then there's also utility to string function and checking if the board is a winner. Um, all right. So other than that, we have the main program file, which is just a, a while loop which checks for input. Continuing on, uh, utility functions to find numbers and in, in the arrays. Um, there's a priority queue that I used. I actually borrowed it from this website I listed up here, which included any code. Uh, C++ has a priority queue, but C# -sharp doesn't for some reason. So, uh, and then finally we have the uh, main part of this program, which is the um, search class. Um, let's see. All right, so. Take a look at the main loop of the. Um, well, actually, first we have a, a node uh, which represents um, what we actually like traverse in the lists. Um, they contain a board, um, action, cost, children, um, and then there's a. This is the success, uh, successor function, which is generating the moves that are possible. Uh, so for breath first, we um, standard uh, implementation here. You need to see the main loop, nothing more. So, well, we have some nodes in the list. We go through, generate our um, moves, add the children. Uh, we check the dictionary um, if they contain the child already, and if not, we add it. And then, once we have the solution, we reverse the steps going back up to the parent and then print it all out. Uh, let's see. Alright, so, um, so then depth first. Um, just as before, it's just different than the breadth of research. We have a add to the first element, and then we remove from the first element. Um, that shows how insert and remove the list queue heap or whatever. Um, in addition to that, so how I check for duplicate states is using this dictionary. Um, there's a string that we add to the dictionary as well as the node and that that checks for the um, the duplicate entries um, so then we also have the uniform cost which is um, the priority queue that I mentioned earlier um, so we add the node and the cost of the node to the queue and then every uh, iteration we take out the um, lowest priority, and then we have best first, best first, which does basically the same thing, but instead of cost, we use the misplaced tiles count. Um, in addition to that, we have a star, which then uses not only misplaced tiles count but includes the cost, um, and then we iterate through those. And then finally, down here, we have the A star Manhattan distance, 
which doesn't use the misplaced tiles count, but instead uses the sum of Manhattan distances plus the cost of traversing that node. Um, and yeah, that's about it. Thanks for watching.